Hi, welcome to today's video. We're going to be talking about how to turn your photography lens into a cinema lens. Step one, softness. In my case, I'm going to be using Final Cut, but you can do this in any other editor, just like DaVinci and Adobe Premiere Pro. Go into your effects folder and look for Gaussian blur. Drop that on the clip. What this is going to do is it will take that clinically sharp image that you shot in 4K on your Sigma or your Sony lens and make it a bit soft, if that's the word. Now, you do have to be careful with this because if you overdo it, you're going to lose a lot of details in your shot, like a lot. I personally like to leave this at around 1.5 or 1.25, depending on what the scene looks like. But you can do as you please. To see what it's really doing, I say zoom in about 200 or 100 percent and check the edges of a human or a thin. This hack is a fix to the problem of modern photo lenses being too sharp and just devoid of any characteristic. And it is true. They have lost most, if not all of their optical imperfections. Now you can argue that the Arrow Master Primes also have a clean look, but that's the point. It's an organic clean look. It's different. Step two, chromatic aberration. This simply means the failure of a lens to focus all colors to the same point. Now, it's not a bad thing. Sometimes go into your effects folder and search for prism. Drop that on the clip. Now I do need to preface by saying that chromatic aberration differs across brands. Some have purple fringing like the Rokinons and some have a red orange hue like the DZOs. The point here is the presence of some sort of optical imperfection. In this case, we're trying our best to replicate that. And again, you do want to keep this to a bare minimum. Remember, this is just an accent. It shouldn't take over the whole image. So for me personally, I like to leave this at about 0.5%. And depending on the look I'm going for or whatever, I'll move the hue or color from 0 to 360 degrees or anywhere in between. Now, at this point, you're mostly done. But... There's a better way to do this using a free software. If I get 20 comments saying buzz, I'll make that video next. Step three, astigmatism. Frankly, I think DaVinci does this effects the best, but we're in Final Cut. So go into the effects folder and search for radial blur. Basically, astigmatism occurs when the lens fails to focus image lines running in different directions in the same plane, on the same plane, same as chromatic aberration, but with lines. For a decent lens, you want this to occur around the edges of the frame slightly out of focus. A good example of this is the swollen bokeh that the Helios 44 series is known for. This gives the image some sort of imperfection that in some ways can work to your advantage or not. Now, you really don't want to push this too much. And in my case, the way I use this is very surgical. One word, feathering feather the life out feather did i just pick the audio i don't think so don't worry i got you covered there's a link in the description of this video where you can find a preset file for all these effects but this only works in final Cut pro so if you use davinci or premiere you have to do the work you gotta grind bro bonus tip add these effects at the end of your workflow or pipeline that means after your color correction and your color grading so in premiere Stack these effects at the very top of your adjustment layer and in DaVinci, put them on the last node. You want them to affect the overall image and render everything as one frame. Now you have a drag and drop effects that can do all of these things for you. Bye.